What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to see how to perform DHCP starvation attack by using one of the tools on Kali Linux. And we're going to see later how to prevent this type of attack from happening. So let's first see the topology we have here. I uh, have configured the router 254 has the fault gateway and I enabled the ACP uh, service and right now it's leasing the addresses from 192.168.30 and it, the router is the default gateway on this network so all we care is just this segment of the network and when the client is connected to the network is connected to the switch normally he would request an IP address from the DHCP server and DHCP would uh, lease him one of the addresses and we can see now router 3 was assigned IP 30.1 and we can confirm that by looking at the binding table where we see that that's the currently leased IP address and this pool right now we have a total of 254 addresses and only one was leased so that's the normal behavior uh, when a new client connects a network uh, requests an IP address and the DHCP server will provide this IP address now what the attack we're going to perform here is by using the Kali to exhaust all the addresses on this pool and we'll be using uh, the tool Yersinia for this and what it's going to do is going to request all the addresses on the pool so that when new clients try to connect on the network they won't be able to get an IP address and this will also cause a denial of service on the switch and let's see how to make this happen so we're going to call your senior and we're going to enable the HCP mode by pressing F2 on keyboard. You can see that now we change to CDP and the HCP mode. And we'll press X, it's going to launch the attack panel. And by pressing 1, we're going to send the discover packet. And so it's going to launch a bunch of packets uh, requesting the addresses from the DHCP server and I'll press 1 and the attack is on and if we look at the router this time now all addresses on the pool were leased okay and not only that uh, if we look at router 3 and if we try to ping ourselves it's working and if we try to reach the router we can't okay so because uh, right now the switch uh, is not operational so, so let me pause the attack now well, to prevent that we can use uh, IP DHCP snooping on the switch and what essentially DHCP snooping will do is to by default it will consider all the ports on the switch to be untrusted and the port where the DHCP server is connected, that's the one that we have to define as a trusted port and only that port will be allowed uh, to lease or provide IP address uh, to clients or to requests. And let's see how to do that. So let me bring the switch. That's already responsive. So let's start by enabling the feature. IPJCP snooping globally and we have to enable on VLAN that we want it to run as well and we run the command to show IPJCP snooping we see that none of the ports is considered to be trusted so E0 is the port connected to router 254 we're going to consider it to be a trusted port that's it if we run the command again we see that that's the only trusted port all the other ports are considered to be untrusted means that 
if any of those sports uh, try to lease addresses, they will be discarded. And additionally, what we can do is to rate limit the number of DHCP uh, discovers or packets that are sent on the port. And we can do that by running command uh, rate limit. Let's see. Let's limit rate. Yes, let's say that we want to limit to five packets per second. Okay. If I run this again, we see that the only trusted port and allow its port E00, and all the remaining ones are considered to be untrusted and with a rate limit of five packets per second. Okay, everything looks great. Except that right now we have DHCP snooping enabled but we still have a problem to fix and i'm going to show what i mean by that let's bring uh, r4 uh, to to the network and let me clear uh my dhcp table binding table so like the rp dhcp binding all i look at bindings okay it's clear and we see that the request from R4 uh, is not uh, being delivered to the gateway. And so we run the command debug IP JCP packet detail. And debug IP JCP server packet detail. Yeah, that's the right one. And we're going to see in a moment that the requests are actually arriving on DHCP server but are being discarded and let me see yes they are being discarded because of this option uh, group IP address is zero and what happens is that there is uh, one of the options enabled and that's option 82 enabled on the switch that is causing the DHCP server to discard the packets that are being forwarded from the switch. That to fix that, we have to tell the switch to not use this option. And we'll disable by running the command no IP DHCP um, snooping information option. So by doing that, uh the dhcp server is going to accept the requests coming from r4 or any other client so let's flap this and see if it's changed uh, so we receive a release and right now r4 should be assigned new ip address and it was assigned a new ip address okay so ip dhcp binding and we can see that R4 right now is using this IP address. So now let's try to run the attack again and see what is going to be uh, the difference now with DHCP snooping enabled. Run here, Simeon. And press H and F2 to DHCP mode. And actually, this is one of the ways to run your Senior. The other one that often seen it's by using this graphical mode we can launch the attack uh, using this option as well and we're going to send discover packets and it's going to cause denial of service right, let's run it and running so let's look at raw 4 and we look at the bindings we only have uh, five, one, two, three, four, five addresses. And these ones uh, are the ones that came from uh, Kali or Yersinia. Now let's look at switch. And bring the switch, this is it. Here's the switch. And here we get this message on the switch. And we see that uh, because of DHCP snooping, 
the port was put into error disabled state because it violated um, the limits on that port so and we run state status the port is in error disabled state and we run port security for that interface you can see that it's shut down and this is how we can prevent this type of attack by using DHCP snooping. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next one.